integers and an S coloring of a graph G is a partition of the vertex set VG into sets V1 through VK such that for each I between one and K, the distance between any two distinct X and Y, those two vertices in VI is at least SI plus one. So in particular, a one, 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 one coloring is an ordinary coloring and a one, two, three, four until K coloring is called a packing K coloring. And we can define the packing chromatic number, uh, which in short is PZN, um, uh, or we also denote it by chi P of G to be the minimum K such that G has a packing K coloring. So let's take a look at the easy example. We have, uh, if we have C4K, uh, right here we have a cycle of length 12, but in general, the packing chromatic number of C4K is exactly three. So on the left-hand side, we can show that three colors are enough because we can use the pattern of one, two, one, three to color the cycle along the cycle so that uh, vertices colored with one, they're at distance at least two from each other. Uh, vertices with two, they're at distance at least three, actually four, which is better. And uh, uh, vertices colored with three, they're at distance at least four from each other. So uh, we can check this is a valid packing three coloring. And on the right hand side, if we only have two colors, then uh, we have to use, of course, all of them. Then we use, say, uh, color one for the first vertex. And on the right hand side, we have to use color two. And then the next vertex, we have to use color one. But for the fourth vertex, we're running out of colors because we cannot use one for sure. And it's also too close to uh, this color, this, this vertex with color two. Um, um, so uh, one more definition uh, for a graph G, we use DG to denote the graph obtained from G by subdividing every edge. It is also called the one subdivision. So the notion of packing chromatic number was introduced by Goddard, Kaditanimi, Hadithanimi, Harris, and Raw in 2008. Uh, motivated by uh, frequency assignment problems in the broadcast networks. Fiala and Golovic in 2010 showed that finding the packing chromatic number of a graph is NP-hard even in the class of trees. Slopper showed in 2004 that the infinite complete tenary tree T has packing chromatic number equal to infinity, but he also showed that any tree T with maximum degree and most three has packing chromatic number and most seven. Um, and then Goddard and his co-authors co in 2008 asked the question that, is it true that the packing chromatic number of all subcubic graph is bounded by constant? It's also uh, got the attention of many other researchers. Um, in 2016, Gastinio and Tocni uh, ask the question that, is it true that the packing chromatic number of the one subdivision of a, of a cubic graph is upper bounded by five? And then later, one year later, Brazar, Klobazar, Gaul, and Walsh made it into a conjecture. And the conjecture said, if G is a subcubic graph, then chi P of DG is upper bounded by five. So, um, so on the process of solving the uh, pro the, the, the question asked by Goddard and his co-authors, Gastini and Tocni, they found in 2016, a cubic graph with packing chromatic number exactly 13. And they also asked whether 13 is the upper bound in the class of cubic graph. And one year later, uh, Brazar and his co-authors uh, find another um, subcubic graph with packing chromatic number exactly 14. They also wrote that one of the intriguing problems related to the packing chromatic number is whether it is bounded by a constant in the class of all cubic graphs. So we answered the question of Goddard and his co-authors in the negative. Uh, there are cubic graphs with arbitrarily large packing chromatic number. Moreover, we showed more. We showed that many cubic graphs has high packing chromatic number. We used the probabilistic argument and uh, the argument, uh, the statements right here. 
So we showed that uh, uh, for each fixed integer k at least 12 and GERS g at least 2k plus 2, almost every n vertex cubic graph of GERS at least g has the packing chromatic number greater than k. In contrast, in contrast for the other problem, we gave the first upper bound on chi p of dg for subcubic g, uh, which is 8. It's upper bounded by 8 in this class. We actually showed something a little bit more stronger, but it doesn't matter. It gives the upper bound of 8. So this is our uh, claim, uh, our statement again. And for two degenerate subcubic graph, we proved something a little bit stronger. We showed that uh, um, it has a 1, 1, 2, 2 series recoloring. And uh, in particular, it impl implies that uh, DG has a packing 7 coloring. So our main results um, was implied by the following theorem and then observation of Gastineo and Cockney. So right now I would like to uh, briefly talk about their proposition. The proposition said, let G be a graph and S be a known decreasing sequence of integers. If G is S callable, then the one subdivision, which is also DG is one, two S one plus two, uh, da, 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 2sk plus 1 callable. So why is that true? Because when we do the one subdivision, we um, replace every edge by a path of length 2. So we actually add one vertex in the middle of the edge. So we can use color 1 for every such vertex. And then we, we can notice that in the graph, uh, every distance is doubled. Um, the original distance of d plus 1 right now becomes 2d plus 2. So s1 then change to 2s1 plus 1, sk change to 2sk plus 1, and so on. And that's why this proposition is true. And uh, it's, a, it's so simple, but it's very important um, uh, in uh, here and also later. So uh, uh, right now, we all, uh, I also want to talk about a specific packing coloring, which is called packing 1122 coloring. So why do we uh, want to talk about this? Because, uh, because of the conjecture of uh, Brazar, Clavazar, Ra, and Walsh. Uh, let me remind you, the conjecture said, if G is a subcubic graph, then chi P of DG is upper bounded by 5. Um, so why is 1122 coloring special? Because uh, by the proposition of Gastineo and Tocqueney, a 1, 1, 2, 2 coloring implies a 1, 3, 3, 5, 5 coloring, which implies if a packing 5 coloring of the 1 subdivision of G. So it can be used to uh, prove the conjecture right here. Uh, and in 2016, Gastineo and Tocqueney showed the Peterson graph is not packing 1, 1, kk prime colorable for every kk prime at least two. So uh, unfortunately, the Peterson graph is not 1, 1, 2, 2 colorable. But, but uh, if, we, if we do the one subdivision, uh, it is still, it still has a packing five coloring. So the conjecture still uh, is not disproved. Uh, so in 2017, Brazar, Clavazar, Raw, and Wash showed uh, if G is a generalized, generalized prism of a cycle, then G is packing 1, 1, 2, 2 callable if and only if G is not the Peterson graph. Okay, so next, let me remind you the definition of maximum average degree of G. It is de defined to be the max of 2 E of H over V of H, where H is a subgraph of G. So we showed uh, with uh, Liu, Rolek, and Yu, we showed, uh, uh, we showed that every subcubic graph with maximum average degree less than 30 over 11 is one one is packing one one two two callable. And uh, a corollary is let G be a subcubic graph with maximum average degree less than 30 over 11, then the conjecture is confirmed uh, for this uh, subclass. Okay, since planar graphs with squares at least G, has maximum average degree less than 2g over g minus 2, we have another corollary which says 
every subcubic planar graph with girls at least eight is packing one, one, two, two color mode. So it also uh, confirms a subclass of graph. So right now, uh, a very interesting open problem uh, asked by Gastine and Tokni is that the problem says, is it, is it true that every subcubic graph except the Peterson graph is one, one, two, two color mode? Uh, it remains open. Uh, they ask, they actually asked the question for one, one, two, three coloring, but uh, I but I, I would think it would be better if we can solve the easier version of one, one, two, two uh, coloring. Okay, so so finally, I would like to talk to you about the uh, packing colorings of subcubic outer planar graphs. So uh, let me first uh, remind you that an a outer planar graph. Uh, outer planar graphs are graphs with a fixed drawing uh, where all vertices are on the outer face. So uh, the packing chromatic number of subcubic outer planar graph are first studied by Gastinio, Holub, and Tokni on 2019. They showed uh, upper bounds for packing chromatic number of two connected subcubic outer, outer planar graphs with condition uh, on the number of internal faces. And in 2020, Brazar, Gastinio, and Tokni showed that the packing chromatic number of every two connected bipartite uh, subcubic autoplanet graph is upper bounded by seven. And they also um, studied the, uh, the other packing colorings um, of subcub subcubic autoplanet graphs. So uh, one of their results says uh, every triangle-free subcubic outer planar graph has a packing one two 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 coloring, which is stronger than one one two two coloring, and they showed uh, uh, their result uh, is sharp in the sense that it there is a triangle-free subcubic outer planar graph, which is not one two two three colorable. So on the left hand side uh, is an example that. Uh, uh, there is a graph. There is a triangle free subcubic outer planet graph, which is not one, two, two, three colorable because uh, let's say it has a one, two, two, three coloring with the, we call the colors by one, two, A, two, B, and three. So in, or, in order to color a five cycle, we have to use at most two of the color one, and the other three has to be two, A, two, B, and three. So we have to use all of the 2a, 2b, and 3, and 2 ones. So in this case, uh, we can take a look at the vertex colored by 3 and take a look at the uh, five cycle adjacent to it. We have, uh, there, there are no way to uh, use the coloring because it has to use color 3, but it is also too close to this vertex. 1, 2, 3. It requires 4, but the, the minimum, uh, the maximum distance is 3. So, so uh, it shows that uh, this graph is not packing one, one, two, two, three colorable. And on the right hand side, it's a uh, subcubic outer planet graph with a triangle, but it's not packing one, two, two, two colorable. Um, by uh, so uh, yeah, we can also talk about it right here. So um, let's say it has a one, two, two, two coloring. Then we we call those colors one. 2a, 2b, 2c, uh, because those two vertices, u1, u2, they are adjacent. Uh, one of them has to use color, some color of 2a, 2b, or 2z. They cannot both be one. So let's say um, the vertex u1 is colored by uh, 2a, let's say 2a. Um, then uh, we know that u6 cannot be colored with u, neither 2b nor 2c because uh, let's say if, if V6 is colored by 2B, then uh, two, both 2B, 2A, and 2C cannot be used in this triangle because they are too close. And it implies we cannot color the, the remaining graph. Uh, so, so it means V6 cannot be colored by 2B, 2C, and also V3 cannot be colored by 2B, 2C. Um, Okay, uh, then they, they have to color, be colored by one, which is a contradiction because they're adjacent. 
So nuclear. Okay. Uh, uh, so uh, if we remove the condition of triangle free, uh, we know that is not packing one, two, two, two colorable. But what if we add the question, uh, what, what if we add the condition of two connected and uh, this question is still open. The question says, is it true that every two connected subcubic outer plan graph is packing one, two, two, two colorable? It is still open. Uh, and uh, uh, they, uh, so Brazar, Gastini, and Tokni, they also uh, claim that they can show that if G is a subcubic triangle free outer plan graph, then G is packing one, one, two colorable. And they also show there exists a subcubic outer plan graph G, which is not packing one, one, two colorable. So the example is right here. And uh, I can show you why it is not one, one, two colorable because let's assume it has a one, one, two coloring. Then one of the vertex in the middle triangle V1, V2, V3 has to receive the color two. Let's say it is uh, vertex V3. Then, then in this case, there is no way for us to color the triangle U7, U8, U9, because we only have three colors. We have to use color two, but there are two colors. Um, and the other question we might ask is, is it true that every two connected subcubic outer plan graph is packing one, one, two color ball? And this question is, uh, we solved it recently uh, with uh, Sasha Kostochka. We showed that every two connected subcubic outer plan graph is packing one, one, two column. And our result is also sharp in the sense that we have a graph which is not packing one, one, three column and not packing one, two, two column. So for one, one, three, you can, you can um, see that three, three is uh, too large. And we have two triangles, and both of them have to use color three, but they, they're too close to each other. And also for uh, one, two, two coloring, um, we can uh, do a similar analysis as before that uh, both U1 and U2 cannot be colored by two because uh, if it, it is colored by two, then it is too close to this triangle and we cannot um, do the coloring. So uh, for uh, for one, one, two, four coloring, we uh, also show that every subcubic outer planar graph has a one packing one, one, two, four coloring uh, with some condition. Uh, those conditions is just added so that induction proof is uh, easier to to be done. Um, and as a corollary, we show that if G is the subcubic outer planar graph, then the conjecture is confirmed. And moreover, if G is a two connected subcubic outer plan graph, then the upper bound can also be dropped by one. Okay. So, so here it implies the one, one, two, two, but we try to uh, push uh, to the best we can do. So, so uh, we uh, finally turn out to be one, one, two, four and one, one, two, five is not possible. So uh, finally, I would like to show you an example that uh, there is a subcubic outer plan graph that is not packing one, one, two, five color ball. And I really like this construction and uh, uh, let me show you right now. So first uh, it's a, a small portion of the graph. We call it gadget G1. So the first claim, uh, the first claim we're gonna show is in gadget G1, the vertex Z6 cannot be colored by five. So let's assume uh, we have a one, one, two, five coloring. Then we show that Z6 cannot be colored by five. So let's suppose not, suppose, suppose there is a packing one, one, two, five coloring with Z6 colored by five. Um, how can I go back? <laughs> Let me go back. So let's color it by five and then close it. Okay, okay, I cannot do that. <laughs> Clear. Okay. 
Okay, so then, then the other vertices in gadget G1 cannot use color five because it is too close to each other. Five requires distance at least six, but you can see that the forest is distance five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, and then we know that V2, V3, U2, U3 must not be colored by two. V2, V3, U2, U3 must not be colored by two uh, because otherwise uh, we cannot color the triangle V4, V5, V6 because you cannot use color five here and you have to use color two here. But if, if, if either one of them is colored by two, we cannot do it. So it implies um, V2, V3, U2, U3 must not be colored by two. Then V1, U1 must be colored by two, but you can see it's too close. They have, they have distance two, which is a contradiction. So we prove the claim. And then uh, one observation. Okay, so here is the uh, full construction. And uh, so the const construction start from here. Uh, this is the graph G. It's a triangle and it's connected to uh, three gadget G2 and they're symmetric and G2 is right here is this big graph and uh, uh, there are four of uh, the G1 gadgets right here. Uh, it looks uh, maybe complicated, but it's not that complicated. I will show you why it does not have a one packing one, one, two, five coloring. So this observation is very important that each triangle in G has a vertex of color two or five. Okay, so now let's suppose this graph has a packing one, one, two, five coloring. And let's start with uh, the right-hand side. Then X1 must be colored by two. Why is that? Because X1 is adjacent to this gadget, which we showed in the claim before that this vertex cannot be colored by five. So, uh, we are right here. X1 must be colored by two. And then we uh, take, take, a note, uh, take notice that one of the triangles, T1, T2, T3, and Y1, Y2, Y3 has color two. So one of those uh, two triangles, they have to uh, use color two. They cannot be both colored by five because they are too close to each other. So let's say um, one of the vertex Y1, Y2, Y3 is colored by two. Um, then, then we uh, we say y two is colored by two because y one is uh, too close to x one um, right here. So y one so so now y two is colored by two. I can still take a note here. Okay. And then the next step is the triangle y four y five y six has color five. Um, because uh, by the observation, it cannot be colored by two, it must be colored by five. Um, then it cannot be Y6, then we say it's Y4. Uh, it cannot be Y6 because of the claim again, it's uh, like the Z6 and uh, the gadget G1. So it cannot be Y6 and bisymmetric, by symmetry, we assume it is Y4. So let's say it's Y4 right here. And the next step is uh, we notice that both Z1, Z2, Z3, and S1, S2, S3 has color two um, because uh, here is the five. You, you cannot use five. And they both have color two and the uh, Z1 and S1, they cannot both be two because they are too close to each other. So we say that uh, Z1 is not two. Then by symmetry, we can assume that Z2 is two. And then uh, we are almost down. And this triangle has to use color five. Um, and then Z6 cannot be five. So this five must be Z4 or Z5. This is a contradiction because it is two too close to Y4. So you can uh, count the distance, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so that's where the contradiction occur. Okay.
So that, that this shows that there is a graph. Uh, there, there is a, a sharp example. Okay. And we can also uh, similarly show that there is a subcubic outer planet graph, which is not packing one, two, two, four colorable and uh, not packing one, one, three, four colorable. So uh, uh, it shows that our re result is sharp. So finally, I would like to list a few of the open problems. Uh, and uh, thank you very much. <laughs>